Transmission media, which is an important networking component, and their types will be discussed in this video. But before that, hello and welcome everyone. Let me introduce to the transmission media first. After that, you will get to know their different types along with their use and their features. Okay, let's understand what is a transmission media. Actually, transmission media which is also known as the communication channel or communication media are the physical pathways or the channels through which the data is transmitted from one device to another in the network. So in a computer network, the data is to be transmitted from one computer to another and that is transmitted through a physical or a wireless path and that pathway through which the data is transmitted from one computer to another in the network that is called the transmission media and transmission media is of two types one is the guided media which is the wired or bounded media another one is the unguided media which is the wireless or unbounded media so let's understand about these two different types of transmission media first of all let me introduce to the guided transmission media Actually, the transmission media that uses the cables to transmit the data signal that is known as the guided transmission media. So, those transmission media that uses the cables to transmit the data over the network, they are called the guided transmission media. The path between the sender and the receiver is predefined because they are connected with the cables or the fixed physical media. So, the path between the sender and the receiver is already defined or they are fixed. It is also known as the wired or the bounded media. Some of the types of guided transmission media are the coaxial cable, twisted pair cable and the fiber optics cable. Now you might want to know about these types in detail so let me explain these types. Okay now let me tell you about the coaxial cable which is one of the commonly used guided transmission media. Coaxial cable is similar to the television cable which is covered with a black thick insulator and inside coaxial cable there is the copper wire through which the actual data travels from one place to another coaxial cable has a good bandwidth as a result it supports a high data transfer rate of 10 mbps or even more actually bandwidth is the amount of data that can be transmitted over the communication channel at a unit time. Coaxial cable can transfer up to 10 Mbps of data in a unit time. Okay, the next one is the twisted pair cable. Actually, twisted pair cables are the widely used transmission media, especially in the local area network. So, this is one of the most widely used transmission media for Ethernet networks. Ethernet networks means the small network that is especially created with the help of cables and the Ethernet ports. So in that port twisted pair cables are used. Twisted pair cables consist of pairs of insulated copper wires twisted together in order to reduce the electromagnetic interference. Twisted pair cables are of two types, unsilded twisted pair and the silded twisted pair. Let's know about these two types. First of all, let's see about the unsilded twisted pair cable. Unsilded twisted pair cable has several insulated twisted pairs of copper wire covered with simple plastic cover. There is no any extra coverings in unsilded twisted pair cable. It is mostly used in the local area network or we can say especially in the star topology. It can support the data transfer rate from 10 to 100 Mbps. So unsealed twisted pair has the high data transfer rate or we can say it has high bandwidth as it supports the data transfer rate of 10 to 100 Mbps. Now the next one is sealed twisted pair cable. Actually it is similar to the unsealed twisted pair. However, it has a metallic covering just under the plastic casing. So it has one extra covering, extra metallic covering that is just under the plastic casing. That's why it is called the sealed twisted pair cable. 
it offers the best protection from interference because of that extra metallic covering it is best for the protection from electromagnetic interference it can support the data transfer rate from 16 to 500 mbps so it has even more bandwidth as compared to unshielded twisted pair cable now the another important guide transmission media is the fiber optics cable it is the fastest transmission media among all types of transmission media this cable consists of very thin glass fiber surrounded by a protective insulator the data travels in the form of light so it is the fastest communication media in other transmission media like coaxial cable or twisted pair cable the data travels in the form of electrical signals however in case of fiber optics the data travels in the form of light that is why it is the fastest transmission media it can support a data transfer rate of 2 billion bits per second so as the data travels in the form of light it has very very high bandwidth as a result it can support a data transfer rate of 2 billion bits per second which is very high that's why communication through the fiber optics cable is very fast now let me tell you about the unguided transmission media unguided transmission media are the wireless transmission media that does not uses the cables for transmitting the data unguided transmission media are the electromagnetic waves like uh, radio waves or microwaves that are used for transmitting the data through the ear or the space medium actually it is used in the places where cabling is hard or cabling is not possible and in the network that covers the large area it is very flexible and also known as the wireless or bounded transmission media so wireless or we can say unguided transmission media are very flexible and they are also called as the wireless transmission media the wireless transmission media are of different types like the radio wave microwave infrared bluetooth wi-fi and so on now let me explain about these types so let me start with the radio wave which is one of the widely used unguided transmission media radio waves are widely used for wireless communications including the radio broadcasting cellular phones wi-fi networks and satellite communications so in such type of communications radio waves are used they have long wavelengths and can travel over long distance that is why they are used or they are suitable for different kinds of applications as radio wave has longer wavelengths so long distance communication is possible with the help of radio wave so they are used for different types of communications like the satellite communications or cellular phone communications radio broadcasting and so on now the next one is microwave microwave is another type of unguided transmission media that has the shorter wavelength as compared to the radio waves and they are often used for point to point communications such as microwave link for high capacity data transmission satellite communications and radar systems microwaves are basically used for point to point communications because of the shorter wavelengths point to point communication means the communications in which there is no obstacles between the sender and the receiver and the next one is the infra waves these are the transmission media that has even shorter wavelengths as compared to the microwave as well as radio waves so they are used for short distance communications or we can say the short range communications such as in TV remote controls, infra data transmission between devices and some types of indoor wireless network. So infra waves are the unguided transmission media or the wireless transmission media that are basically used in the short distance communications because they have the shorter wavelengths so they are used in short range communications for example the tv remote controls and so on so this is all about the wireless transmission media beside radio wave microwave and infrawaves there are other types of wireless transmission media such as wi-fi bluetooth 
these are also used for short distance communications or short range communications so this is all about the transmission media i hope you have understood it so this much for now see you in the next video